welcome to this with us professor k hemchandra reddy chairman ap state council of higher education to inaugurate this apshi quiz championship 2022 ap state council of higher education maybe by this time you might be knowing that it is the highest policy making body we designed the policy of the higher education ecosystem of the state of andhra pradesh that was the mandate but with the visionary leadership of professor k hemchandra reddy garu apshe has gone to the grassroots level to the student level whatever we are doing the policies at the highest helm of affairs need to be understood need to be taken up need to be imbibed by the stakeholders the main stakeholders the students that is the reason the chairman of state council of higher education professor hemchandra reddy garu brought in several new initiatives like talk the book program wherein every friday one book is being reviewed either be it in english or in telugu on alternate weeks so every day the state council of higher education is conducting this talk the book program a book review program so that the students can inculcate the habit of reading thereby maybe their horizons of thinking also will increase that's one initiative maybe we are uh, publishing the chairman's desk wherein the students are being motivated the students are being apprised of the latest happenings on field or in your domain of your own knowledge in general motivating aspects like how to be how to be a good human being now how to be successful now how to overcome your failures now such type of every week one chairman's desk is being rolled out we have smarticles reading right to inculcate again the reading habits among the students and most prestigiously the government of andhra pradesh has given out 162000s microsoft upskilling program free of cost the government had spent 32 crores for upskilling 162000 students all over the state of andhra pradesh in microsoft courses thereby their employability is increasing their knowledge level is increasing they are going to get uh, better jobs in the future your future ready workforce is being created which is again the brain child of professor hemchandra reddy so we at apshi we are trying to go down to the level of the students and do such type of initiation or initiatives which will be encouraging the students to walk in their lives to go ahead in their lives to walk an extra mile and one such initiative is this apshi quiz championship 2022 and most of you are uh, in know of this particular that we have conducted an online uh, uh, test maybe those who are sitting in front of me you are all the lucky uh, students who could i uh, mean come out of this particular uh, online examination in flying colors and you are sitting right here competing for the first place second place third place and also for the quarter final semi finals so this is for the first time ever in the history of the higher education sector of andhra pradesh that the ap state council of higher education is conducting this particular apshi quiz championship 2022 with this few introduction maybe we will go directly into this particular uh, inaugural session where we start with the lighting of the lamp so that we will be uh, declaring open this particular apshi quiz championship 2022 by professor k hemchandra reddy sir the chairman of ap state council of higher education professor hemchandra reddy garu is not a, 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 an administrator he is an educationist turned administrator like several of your teachers sir was also a teacher he is a professor in mechanical engineering at jain to anantapur more than his professorial skills sir is known for his mentoring the students motivating the students and not less than 2 uh, to 3 lakh students got benefited by the motivational lectures motivational speech of professor hemchandra reddy garu he was elevated to the post of registrar of jain to anantapur and now he is sitting at the helm of affairs of the ap state council of higher education as its chairman giving directions for the future of higher education to the state of andhra pradesh so now i invite professor hemchandra reddy garu and i acknowledge the presence of 
ప్రొఫెసర్ టి లక్ష్మమ్మ గారు అవర్ వైస్ చైర్పర్సన్ ఆఫ్ ఏపీ స్టేట్ కౌన్సిల్ ఆఫ్ హైయర్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ సెక్రటరీ ప్రొఫెసర్ బి సుధీర్ కుమార్ గారు అండ్ ఆల్సో రిజిస్ట్రార్ ఆఫ్ ఆచార్య నాగార్జున యూనివర్సిటీ ప్రొఫెసర్ కరుణ మేడం హూ హ్యాడ్ గివెన్ అస్ దిస్ పర్టికులర్ ఆపర్చునిటీ టు హోల్డ్ దిస్ క్విజ్ ఛాంపియన్షిప్ ఇన్ ద ప్రెమిసెస్ ఆఫ్ ఆచార్య నాగార్జున యూనివర్సిటీ అండ్ ఐ ఆల్సో ఎక్నాలజ్ ద ప్రెసెన్స్ ఆఫ్ అవర్ క్విజ్ మాస్టర్ హూమ్ ఐ విల్ బి ఇంట్రడ్యూసింగ్ ఎట్ ఎ లేటెస్ట్ స్టేజ్ మిస్టర్ సునీల్ ధవళ అండ్ ఆల్సో మై కలీగ్స్ ఫ్రమ్ యాప్షి డాక్టర్ భాస్కర్ డాక్టర్ ఎల్ఆర్ఎడ్డి మిస్టర్ నగేష్ మిస్టర్ రాజేష్ అండ్ ఆల్ హూ ఆర్ ఆల్ బిహైండ్ దిస్ పర్టికులర్ థింగ్ అండ్ నౌ వి విల్ స్టార్ట్ ది ఇనాగ్రేషన్ బై లైటింగ్ ఆఫ్ ద ల్యాంప్ బై ద డిగ్నెటరీస్ సో ఐ రిక్వెస్ట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ హేమ్చంద్ర రెడ్డి గారు ప్రొఫెసర్ లక్ష్మమ్మ గారు ప్రొఫెసర్ సుధీర్ ప్రేమ్ కుమార్ అండ్ ప్రొఫెసర్ కరుణ మ్యామ్ టు జాయిన్ ప్రొఫెసర్ హేమ్చంద్ర రెడ్డి గారు by lighting of the lamp this apshi quiz championship 2022 now may i request professor k hemchandra reddy garu chairman ap state council of higher education to declare open the apshi quiz championship 22 for introducing apshi to the audience uh we have initiated a series of uh, you know activities matthew rightly said we are a highest policy making body of the government of andhra pradesh we play a similar a similar role to ugc at the national level ugc you know guides the central government with respect to higher education and also interacts with universities giving them the guidance apshi also does the same job at the state level it is almost similar to ugc we we uh recommend policy initiatives to the government of andhra pradesh we interact with universities we try to improve the quality of education that is the primary motto in the last two and a half years of course uh, the pandemic uh, has uh, reduced the visibility of the activities that we have initiated last two and a half years most part of the time you are confined to your rooms or how homes under lockdown or you know under restricted movements and therefore i am sure most of you are not fully aware of the activities matthew said a few initiatives of apshi now the primary thinking that's going through in apshi think tank is we have initiated many policies there are universities there are vice chancellors registrars rectors and the entire faculty to take care of quality education at the same time we thought students are not fully charged up or geared to achieve the quality and therefore while fully engaged designing the policy documents for the state of andhra pradesh we also parallelly have initiated a direct connect programs to the students they talk the book what he said reading habits are going down and people's general awareness is almost nil people are quite routine students are not very confident of their you know uh, they they are not behaving worthy of the degrees and they are not facing the challenges confidently in fact for that matter they are not rolling out of the universities with confidence to face the challenges of life so what can you know empower them is reading reading a lot some of it's missing somewhere so we said okay our our kids are very busy with their social networking or you know the kind of uh, addiction over the screens addiction to the screens we thought uh, okay through screen we we introduce this program so every week if you want to read a book it needs 40 hours at least for you to have a comprehensive understanding of a book now don't worry we pick a good scholar who who understood the book better he will talk about the book in one hour you understand understand everything about the book so we are driving directly the essence 
of the book. If you are interested, you will pull it out of your library rack and then go through it. Or otherwise, you purchase one if you are interested. That's how we wanted to promote reading habits. And for the first time in the, in the country, we have designed a reading right app for you. The reading right is designed to enhance your reading habits and expand your horizons in terms of general awareness in various aspects. A reading right, I'm sure many of you are aware. Uh, if you are not aware, I feel a little dejected because, you know, we, we did extensive canvassing on that. All of you should download that app and go through it. It's highly useful. It's a news article that is presented to you every week. And if you read that news, news article, it is in a Wikipedia model. There are certain words which you may not uh, understood or you have never come across. You press that word, you get all the meanings like a dictionary. And uh, if there is one sentence which is very difficult for you to understand, there is a question mark next to it, you press it, everything related to sentence and its usage, everything will be displayed. And uh, there are certain idioms and phrases used and there is another mark there, you press it and where, in what context this can be used. And you go through a full paragraph, you did not understand the paragraph, you press there. There, you know, in the background you get uh, video, audio and text messages related to that. By the time you complete the entire article, you are supplied with enormous information. Maybe you need three to four hours concentrated, you know, to read the article. This is the simplest way, if you, if you can send, spend three to four hours a week, you will, you know, in six months or one year time, you will be fully charged up to, uh, to, to learn more and more. That is, that is the vision we had. So the Reading Write app has been rolled. And we always felt the motivation is quite low among the students. And therefore, we have uh, announced many awards. Awards not with a you know, mere memento as a prize. We declared one lakh rupees as a prize money. We wanted to make it highly prestigious. No, it's not the money that I Apshe lose or Apshe, Apshe give away as awards that matters to me. The, the prize money shall motivate every student in, in all 10 lakh students in all universities to achieve that something. So the APSHE awards have been announced in innovation, in society engagement, in, in uh, academics, in overall performance and leadership. I think some of them, Nagesh, uh, uh, will correct me. And now we said the general awareness of the students is going rather low. We have announced a quiz program as well. Now this quiz program at the state level will be an annual feature. Hereafter, every year we conduct it. And this is only a maiden effort. This is the first edition of it. Down the line, as we go forward, we make it uh, much visible and uh, we will engage with uh, good sponsors. And like any prestigious uh, quiz event, we would like to uh, make Apshe quiz event as uh, equally prestigious. The first event we announced, and uh, I'm thankful to uh, Mr. Sunil Davalagaru, Dr. Sunil Davalagaru. In fact, he called me and said, I would like to conduct a quiz program for you. All of you must be aware, uh, the sec yeah, thank you. All of you must be aware when we uh, launched the Talk the Book program, my good friend at JNTU Anantapur, Professor Banamurthy, is a well-read person. He is a civil professor. I asked him to review a book of his choice. And incidentally, he picked up Sunil Davala's uh, book, Super Visionary Study. I think all of you should go through it. And that uh, Talk the Book program was viewed by 40,000 students in the state. Sunil Davalagaru is such a wonderful author. Of, you know, he, his uh, narrative capabilities are amazing. And uh, through writing, he motivates youngsters like him. I felt very happy when Sunil Davalagaru called me, said, uh, Professor Reddy, I would like to conduct a quiz program completely end-to-end, -end, I'll design, I'll conduct in the state. I immediately rolled out red carpet for him, and therefore Sunil Davalagaru is here conducting this program. 
what we had many disappointments lackluster you know response from the students we expected you know uh, uh, lacks of entries into it because the prize money is quite huge one lakh but uh, we were disappointed how many thousands no, sir. It's around only 780 out of 10 lakh students have shown their interest to take examination it's fine. It's a maiden event. We are not disappointed because it's the first time we are introducing it. Down the line, we'll see uh, the visibility as it increases. Many youngsters would come forward. When we conducted a written examination, uh, Mr. Nagesh, who helps me, supports me in all respects, came running to me, dejected. He said, what happened, Nagesh? He said, sir, I'm quite disappointed. Uh, with the attitude of the students. What happened? He, he took me there. He has shown me the computer. Some of them were copying. Some of them were taking help of others. You know, everything is being recorded. Now, people don't even have the sense that they are being recorded copying. They went on copying. I said, nothing doing. You remove all of them. You remove all those who resorted to malpractices and pick the best. We have picked the best 40 teams who had a fair attitude who have performed well in the examinations. We have picked the... Because, you know, having said all beautiful things, I, need, I also need to mention some of those things which we did not like, right? <coughs> so, the 40 teams are here. This will be a three-day affair? Four. Three-day affair. Three affair. It will be continuously fun-filled, knowledge-filled uh, quiz program. I want all of you to be... Uh, uh, sitting here and attentively uh, witness the uh, proceedings. And the teams which have here from all across the state of Andhra Pradesh, you are made comfortable courtesy the administration of Nagajne University. I thank Vice Chancellor Professor P. Rajshekar Garu and uh, Registrar Professor Karan Garu for all the courtesies they have extended. They have extended the hostel facilities, guest house facilities, this hall, and every possible arrangement they made, uh, you know, to make it very uh, smooth. So, I owe a lot to Nagajne University for coming forward readily, uh, both the Vice Chancellor Garu and uh, Registrar Garu for coming forward to help. And of course, I need not mention about my Apshe team. My Apshe team is a single family. We have, we have, we are, uh, you know, uh, 10 people very closely knit and we always go on one word. And uh, my family, I should not appreciate here. Uh, they always know that my appreciations are always there for them. And uh, the audience also, you can be here in this hall witnessing this. But I have only one humble appeal to all of you. Don't prompt anything. Because, you know, you will be tempted to suggest an answer. But that will hamper the entire pro process. Now, that may, that may, you know, uh, influence the fate, I mean, that, that may change the fate of a few teams. Please don't ever do this. It's a state level competition. Whatever. It's a state level competition. Try all of you. I request all your cooperation and be here. Enjoy the fun. First day, 40 teams will be tested. We'll pick 10 teams out of it and thereafter we further filter. Pick five teams out of it and then that would be a final. And the prize money for the first uh, team is uh, uh, 1 lakh rupees. And the second team is 60,000 rupees. The third is 50, 30, and fourth is 10,000. So we are, we are rewarding uh, the, the best performers that way. And more than the money, the certificates, because it's a state level program, it always adds value. You can very proudly include that in your biodata. And more than that, anything, you will have wonderful opportunity to interact with uh, Dr. Sunil Davragaru. Uh, incidentally, he is from Vizag, is not staying in the state. He has great affection for the state of Andhra Pradesh, and therefore, he has traveled all the way. Sunil Davragaru, I take this opportunity to extend very warm welcome and uh, my sincere appreciations and thanks for you for accepting or for coming forward and then taking this initiative. I don't stand between you and uh, Dr. Sunil Davla. I very quickly uh, close my speech. I hereby declare open the Apshe Quiz Championship 2020. All the best participants. Of
the initiatives what we are taking and what uh, the students need to do for their bright future. Now, I request uh, Professor Karunagaru, Registrar of Andhra University, to greet the teams on this occasion. Nagarjuna Na University, sorry, sorry ma'am. Uh, the Chairman of APSHI, Professor K. M. Chandra Redigaru, uh, the Vice Chairman, Professor Lakshman, Lakshma Magaru, and Secretary, uh, Dr. Sudhir Prem Kumar Garu, and Sunil Davla Garu, and all the participating teams and the audience. A very good morning. I take this opportunity first to thank the Chairman of APSHI for all his innovative programs. Uh, uh, keeping in mind the future of the students. As uh, Dr. Ma Matthew Srirangamgaru was telling us, there are a lot of programs initiated and it's all true. Every word he has said is true. And uh, it's really a great opportunity to gain a lot of knowledge. And I also take this opportunity to thank the chairman and the entire APSHA team for choosing, uh, for choosing our uh, university as the uh, uh, I mean, a place to host such a prestigious event. Sir, we feel privileged and honored for this. And I wish all the participants, uh, uh, participants, best of luck. And I know all of us cannot be winners, but, is it, but your participating spirit is what uh, counts. And I think at the end of these three days, you'll be taking away a lot of knowledge from here. And this will definitely boost up your knowledge levels and your interest and your, uh, your confidence for the future programs. I wish you all the best. I wish you all the best. The pleasure of uh, introducing our quiz master. For all these three days, he is going to be on the center stage conducting the quiz championship 2022 of AP State Council of Higher Education. So we have with us uh, Sri Sunil Dhavala, the CEO of IDS Media. Now, Mr. Sunil Davala is a highly accomplished and experienced professional with 25 years of strategic leadership and operational experience across different sectors and more in the media. Now, right now, Mr. Sunil Davala is holding senior management roles at Bertelsmann Media Luxembourg as a CFO, Reliance Broadcast Network as Vice President, Fox Broadcasting as Vice President, and board member and founding team of National Geographic Channel. And he has conducted more than 1,500 uh, quiz championships. And more than uh, his accomplishments as the CEO or as CFO or as a strategic leadership manager, more than that, he is also fighting for the uh, rights, human rights, mostly uh, about the deprived uh, of women and also with reference to the environment. So we are going to have uh, Sri Sunil Dhavala conducting the quiz championship 2022 of AP State Council of Higher Education. Just, uh, Mr. Sunil, you are going to be on the center stage for all the three days. But before uh, I hand over the proceedings to you, maybe uh, you will be invited here. So he is Mr. Sunil Dhavala, our quiz master for APSHE quiz championship 2022. I'm privileged uh, and honored to be here. Um, I'll tell you why the quiz is important, OK? Uh, during the 80s, a candidate, a civil ser services or any public um, in a group one, any competitive exams. So he was restricted to read or learn only till 80s, World War I to 80s. Okay, or maybe 1700s, 1800s, okay. In 2000, so your memory, okay, so it's not a hard disk, but the knowledge, it's, you know, the, you need to learn till 2000, whatever instance, current affairs and or whatever. So till 2022, so our brain is not a hard disk. 
Okay, so like a computers, you know, I don't know how many of you are uh, aware of floppy disk, right? Now today we have pen drives, we have one TB, right? But our brain, our memories, there is no, the capacity will remain the same, but the knowledge, the happiness, thing is, it will go. So after the globalization, so what I'm asking is, what I'm requesting everybody, you need not know everything. You, it's not your cup of coffee. Okay, so one way you have to focus on academics. Okay, so you can't dedicate much time for general knowledge and all. Read the newspaper every day. Okay, and read some good books. Also, Google is there. Professor Google is there. Okay, so you can bank on Google. But only thing is prioritize. Okay, you should know, one should know at least uh, geographical and uh, historical affairs of Andhra Pradesh, own state, own district, at least, right? We need to prioritize, okay, nobody in the world can learn all happenings in the world, right? So this is the idea of the quiz, okay? I was brought up in Arku Valley. It was a tribal area. We were not privileged. Uh, you know, even newspapers, we, we were not getting newspapers to read, you know, uh, we used to call uh, the Tunga, you know, when we go for a ration, right, we used to get um, uh, this lentils and all, right? Actually, he used to read all the news on the newspapers, the old newspapers, and he used to explain us. So I have developed the penchant for knowledge and uh, current affairs. So I wanted to, knowledge is you know, continuous process, and we need to share the knowledge. What we learned is we need to share. End of the day, when you go, uh, you need, if you learn something, a new, uh, anything about um, a new thing in a day, so you will have a peaceful sleep. Also, in Maslow's theory, I don't know how many you can uh, read about Maslow's theory, theory of needs. Okay, the last stage is self-actualization. Okay, after some point, after getting all your needs, roti, kapra, makan and all, okay, money doesn't motivate you. Okay, so knowledge can motivate you. So I, I would like to thank uh, the chairman, respected uh, chairman, Professor Hemachandra Redgaru and his team. And made this possible, made this event possible. And I wish you all the best to the, all the candidates, uh, contestants. Uh, really appreciate and it's my honor to be here. Thank you very much.